Legend of Total War here, and today we've got a saving and disaster battle playing as Legion of Chaos going up against Malice Darkblade, where he's got a ton of abilities, the Black Ark abilities, the uh, Dark Conduit, able to summon Sarkhan, which the AI is always able to do. And his army is also just stronger than ours, because ours is just mostly full of Nurglings. Anyways, jump in here and see what we can do. Now, they've got some Dark Shards. And you could waste their ammunition with the Demon Prince, but I'm not going to do that. Also, it is on very hard battle difficulty, so we can't use the smaller hero to waste their ammo. Because they won't shoot at him. But I think the first thing that we should do is deal with the Black Ark abilities, because that can be annoying to dodge if you're in the middle of a fight. So let's just get that out of the way. Okay. And the way to do that, let's bring this one over to here. Yep. What we want to do is hide all of our units except for the horrors. Be horrors of Zinch, because they have barrier. Giving them a little bit of compensation against the, uh, the bombardment, just in case I don't actually dodge it. This guy here can't dodge. Okay, I want these guys coming in from the rear, so they're not coming in from an awkward angle. Um, actually, let me just have a look at this. I'm just seeing if there's any reinforcement spots from right behind them, but no, there isn't. So we do now, let's just get through the Black Ark abilities and see if we can do that without, um, without it dishing out any damage to us. We do have a timer here of 60 minutes, but should have plenty of time. Whoop. That one did a little bit of damage, but no casualties. And that's why we wanted the uh, the horrors, because of the barrier. Just need to be a little bit quicker on it. Let's wait for the next one. Here we go. The blue horrors actually have more barrier than the oh god the double lining up on this one than the pink horrors. So even though this one got hit with the same thing, it didn't actually penetrate the barrier. Alright, that's two. For very little damage and no casualties done to us so far. I've also chosen a pretty decent uh, defensive position over there. Let's just get through these damn Black Ark abilities. Because the thing is, the Black Ark abilities do count towards balance of power. So getting rid of them without them having done any damage helps us out a little bit. There we go. Complete miss that time. Okay, that should be all three sorted. No problem. Okay, reinforcements. Now you may come in. Come in a little bit quicker. Yeah, just come in from there, it's fine. I didn't want them coming in beforehand because then they would have targeted them because they weren't hidden. Alright, let's start getting moving. Alright, I'm going to bring these guys around over here. What we want to do is start surrounding them. Like I said, we're not going to try to waste enemy ammo. Get a little bit more organized. Okay, that's better. Let's start figuring this out. Now, if we just charge up hill here, here, we probably could win, but we'll definitely take a lot of damage. I mean, like a lot of damage, which might end up meaning that you won't be able to defeat Malice in the next battle because it's very unlikely you'll actually kill Malice in this battle, unless he summons Zarkan, but if you summon Zarkan, you got a real high chance of actually losing the battle, so... So here we go here. So what we're doing is... I'd love to just get around them, and just charge in on all of their Dark Shards all at once. But we'll just see how we go. 
over on this flank over here, there's just one unit of Cold War Knights. If we can lure them away from the pack and fight these ones over here, that would be a really bad trade-off for them. Now, they're taking a defensive position because all they're going to do is wait out the timer, right? Even though it's a fairly long timer. But if we don't do any ranged or magic damage to them, then they'll just sit there. Right, keep, getting, keep moving. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is use the Nurglings as bait, for one thing, to get them to use up the Dark Conduit, and then try to lure it over here. Take out some of their high bounce power units at the beginning of the battle, at minimal cost to us. So what we should see here, yep, there we go, there we go. Now we bring it in. And get ready to fuck it in a three-way Slaneshi corn back gangbang. Which makes corn sick. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Not done. Yep. That's it, come over, come over this way, that's it, come at me, bro. Okay, now that'll cause a dark conduit, wait for it to expire. Cool. Wow, that was a shit dark conduit. But it could have been dangerous if this one had been in that area. So, the Nurgling gets wiped out. versus Garrison. And now this guy here is surrounded. Now we've got two minutes until the next dark conduit, so we've got to keep that in mind. Yeah, don't let him get away. So far, this unit has traded extremely poorly for Bounce of Power. And it's wasted a Dark Conduit as well, which is again worth a lot of Bounce of Power. Okay, watch out. We've got... These are just about in range. They're about to start shooting. Get out of the way, get out of the way. Luckily they didn't get a shot in. Okay, so that unit will probably still kind of survive. If we kill a few more of them. No, they should. Just let, just let them go. It's okay. Still, that's a good start. Alright, now let's try to get these Dread Spears over here. You could also use the, um, the, the horrors to waste enemy ammunition, but... Ugh, it's a pain in the ass doing that, and when you're on a timer, I, I wouldn't recommend it. Main thing that we're doing here is just softening them up as much as possible, but also trying to get them to use up those dark conduits, which will, you know, wreck our demon units, if it actually hits. That's it, get his attention, but I don't want that one's attention. That's it. Okay, it should have been about two minutes now, so they should be ready to pop down another... Dark Conduit. That's it, just keep getting its attention. Gotta watch out for time though. Because what's going to happen here, I'm not going to do this for the entire army, we're just going to do this for a couple of units. Get through the Dark Conduit. Okay, I'm just going to touch them and then run back. Because this Nurgling unit might actually survive. But they should pop down the Dark Conduit. Good, that's number two. Alright, now we've got two minutes until the next one. Watch out. We do not want this one shooting at us while we're in melee. What have we got in terms of spells? Pay to Bijuno. Actually, that's not too bad against Cold One Knights. Yeah, the other spells we got aren't exactly amazing, but they're bringing in another unit. And this one, how well did it trade off? Really poorly. Really, really poorly. Just gonna let the Slanesh one run it down a little bit. 
No, get back. We do not want to get shot by Dark Shards. Even though we got physical resistance, that just does too much damage. Problem here, though, is we didn't wipe out this unit. Gotta be careful, two minutes is about to expire. They'll, they'll pop it down again soon. Dead. We don't want to bring any more units over here because then um, they'll just bring more units over here. The whole point is to just use a small portion of our forces to attack a small portion of theirs. Okay, we're done here. We're done here. Get out of the way before they. Dark Condor with us, which I don't know if they will or won't. Okay. Alright, let's see if we can get this Dread Spear to come at us. I don't want to come after the Dark Shard there. If we just go charging in there, all the other Dark Shards will shoot us, so it's not quite ready yet. We need to get rid of just one more Dark Conduit. Okay, I'm going to need a little bit of a... Oh, no, I was going to say, needed a little bit of a reshuffle, but they sent it over here willingly. Nice. Yeah, this is falling for this trap. Nice. Once again, use the Nurgling to waste the Dark Conduit, and then that'll be three for three. And then we can think about charging in. Okay, that should be a good enough distance. Alright, Dark Conduit's coming down. Get out of the way. Get that devastating flanker bonus. Good, and that's another dead unit. Good stuff. Alright, so far so good. Still playing Dark Elf music, so the bounce bow is still in the enemy's favor, but we've wiped out three units here at very little cost to us. Now, can we get any more of their units for free while we've still got plenty of time on the clock? I'm not sure. I would like to get rid of the Scourge Runner Chariots using these here, but... Okay, I'm going to need to try to get them to reform. Let's try to get them to reform. Because I just want these two here to separate. That's it. That's it. If I go and cast on this now, they'll start charging us. Okay, this is good. This is good. They bring this over to the other flank. This is really good. Okay, now bring these ones over here. This one will activate a skirmish mode. I just needed to get far away from this one. If I go charging at it from just the right angle, we might be able to get it away from the rest of their army. If we go at it from this angle here right now, there's a decent chance we're going to get shot at a little bit. We go! But I'm going to charge at them here to activate their skirmish mode, because that's not the one I'm actually going for. It's this one. So just get them to activate the skirmish mode. We don't want to get shot. Get this bucker here away from the rest of the army. There we go. That's what we want to see. Yes! Very good. Very good. Very good. Oh, I got you, bitch. I got you. And you got no Dark Conduit to back you up. That went perfectly. They didn't get a single shot off on us there. And this is an extremely dangerous unit. That is just getting taken out really easily. really easily. It's just not doing anything. Yeah, look at that. Bloody zero kills. Bring him in. Because we want to destroy them. Because this army doesn't get wiped out if we win. So every unit that gets destroyed 
is one that you don't have to deal with in the next battle, especially if you take it out for free. Good, complete destruction of a Scourge Runner Chariot would be awesome there. Oh, that is, that is so good. This is going fantastically well. I'm really happy with that. Okay. I reckon we could get lure that other cold one over here. I reckon we can do it. The missile units aren't really facing the, the right direction there. I reckon we can do it. Well, we could use the Fader Bajuna on them. We could just use the Fader Bajuna on something else. Let's just, let's just see. If they don't want to take the bait, then they don't want to take the bait. We've still got plenty of time on the clock. We only really need about 10 minutes for the actual fight to go on. Ah, it's no longer playing Dark Elf music, giving us some hope here that the bounce power is actually in our favor. We've evened the odds. That's it. Bring him in. Okay, now we don't want the Seekers of Slanesh to fight the Cold One Knights, but it's okay for the Chaos Warhounds of Corn to do it, because they are small and these are anti-large. Don't worry about the Nurgling. Just lure this guy in. One in. Come on, keep coming. That's it. Waste its charge, and then send in the infantry. Don't like the movements going on there. This one here obviously did a lot of damage to those Nurglings, but this is Garrison Nurglings, no big deal. Good, another unit coming in. Or not, that's fine. Or yes, good. Every unit that we can take out like this is going to make the rest of the battle easier. Because what we want to do, just like with Imric, we want to get an early army losses on Imric. Uh, on, uh, sorry, on uh, Malus. We just don't want him fighting at all in the battle. Good, that is a dead unit. Right, I need another uh, bait, Nurgling. These guys here are racking up some good kills. Alright. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get any more out of them now. Okay, so... How should we go about this now? It's mostly Dark Shards left. What's the range on Vader Bajuna? 100 meters, okay. Alright, let's just see if I can lure one more unit over here. Because, yeah, this is such an amazing trade off for us. Just, just, uh, just will really help. Even if it is just on Dread Spears. Because they're just going to bog our, our other units down later down the track anyway. So let's just get rid of them now. We just don't want anything in our way to just getting in and just eating those Dark Shards. Everything that gets in our way is going to be a problem. Especially for the cavalry. Where are you going? Come back over here. Now come back! Come on, come back over here. Oh, they're going to get within range of the dark shards, which is not what we want. That's it, this way, this way. So all these ones have to do is just move a little bit closer, and they can shoot at us. Which will end up making this a really bad trade-off for us. So I'm just trying to pull them in as much as I can. Alright, looks like we should be okay there. As long as they mind their own business.
And this is another unit that's trading off really badly. Good. Alright, I think it's going to get harder and harder to lure their units over here without drawing the attention of the uh, the Dark Shards. So we'll, we'll get this one killed. Yeah, when multiple units run down infantry and they get into the silly blob like this, that can be a big problem. Now, if we want to keep Malice Darkblade busy, I think the best way to go about that is to get the Chaos Warhounds of Khorne to get his attention when the time comes, once they're on the attack. So now we need them to change change tactics. So they're still playing defensive. Let's finish this one off. Yeah, it's dead. Okay, good. Okay, you come over this side, you come over here. And we just lure Malice Darkblade on a wild goose chase. Okay, now, let's get ready for them to start advancing on us. So I'm going to come over here and cast Fate of Bajuna just on the Dread Spears, whatever's closest. No, not that. So they'll do a bit of damage, but it's going to completely change what they do. Now they're going to come at us. Now, I need this one here to get Malice's Dark Blade attention and just send him on a wild goose chase. Because we just don't want Malice Dark Blade fighting at all in this battle. So, tons of damage. There we go, we got his attention. Let's keep these other guys away from Malice. You want to go fight over here, not over here. That's it, let Malice go sort that out. I'm going to go charge in here in a moment. That's it. That's it. That's really good there. Really friggin' good if he's not in the main fight. Okay, pop that down. Okay, don't get too far away from him. Okay, here we go. Going in. It. Need to constantly pay attention to that. Okay, yeah, you can go fight the Blood Rack Medusa, that's fine. Where are you? Trade of Juno, that one, fine. There we go. That's it. Yeah, look, you're not going to outrun that one, I think. That's, that's so good for Malice to just be busy doing that. That is just perfect for us. Okay, I need to go get rid of these Dark Shards over here. Okay, we got a bit of a heal if we need it. That's good. These guys here are all shooting stuff. That's good. Yeah, that was just tying something down. Uh, Peter Bajuna not ready yet. What's this? What's it gonna be? I think I might prefer to use the heal. Just not yet, we haven't taken much damage. That is so good. Malice being this busy out this way. Blood Rack Medusa. That's it. Keep him busy. Keep him busy. Uh, you know, maybe we should just use it. That's it. Keep Mouse busy. Now we're going over here. Slaughtering them over here. Get rid of that blood rack to do so. Move. Just keep Malice busy. It's going really nicely. Bring us a joyous degradation. Okay, the Blood Mac Medusa's down. Go kill that next. 
That's it, just keep them busy. This is so good, Mal's Dark Blade is just doing nothing. Alright, what do we got in here? Sword of Corn. Uh, I'll see if I can hit this one here. Okay, I got an idea, I got an idea. I need it to stand completely still for a little bit. So it needs to be shooting at us. Uh, that's a bit of a risk. Come on. I gotta stay within range or else it'll just move out of the way. Yeah, suck shit. And there's your army losses, bitch. Okay, hang on. Let's see if we can run down Malice a little bit. Uh, probably not. You're better off running off the Dark Shard, I think. Because we're just not going to get that one. But there we go. There we go. And our army's in really good shape. That's how you deal with Malice. Just have him chase after something he can't catch. I think he took a bit of damage because his abilities that he uses damages himself. Are we going to be able to get to this in time? Maybe. Because, yeah, like I said, we don't wipe them out just because we've won here. But yeah, our army didn't take too much damage. Only units that got wiped out were just um, garrison units. It's because we did the work at the start of the battle to take out everything that was a threat. He absolutely smashed them. Demon Prince good, did a good job. Didn't even need the other summon. These did well. These three here did amazingly well for us. Everything just went right according to plan. I didn't need to cheese their ammunition. Sometimes you don't have to do it. And we still have plenty of time to spare. How's that close? I mean, we barely lost anything. Whatever. Because the, the garrison force here lost about half of its army. But yeah, his army's still in good shape. And all their best units got wiped out. Everyone except for Malice. But you've still got to deal with him. But you should be able to just auto-resolve it now. And just get rid of him. But if you can't order resolve it, uh, the problem is you really don't have anything in the army that's good at fighting him apart from the Demon Prince. And even then, that's a bit iffy. Yeah, because you're not going to be able to uh, goof them around again. You actually have to beat him, if we have to fight him manually. Demon Prince. Alright. And you got enough movement. Let's just see. We should be able to just auto resolve it. Hang on. It would help in auto resolve if we leveled them up. But then again, I don't really want to level him up because that's. It's not my character. Level him up how you see fit. Right, let's have a look here. Come on, decisive victory. And no units wiped out. Damn, that's what we want to see. Bit of damage, but honestly, that's probably better than what manually we would have received because Mal's Dark Blade is worth so much in Bounce of Power, more so than what the Auto Resolve gives him credit for. And there you go, that's him dealt with for now. If you can take him out quickly, it's only turn 23, that would be good before he comes back. But he's not going to be able to replace those units too quickly. Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Hope you learned something, hope you enjoyed it. Appreciate you, and we'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.